Hello friends, Lee here from Tabletop Bong. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to take an honest look at the Dynavap M7XL. I wanted to look specifically at the XL version in a video on its own versus doing the M7 and M7 XL. I think this device really deserves a standalone conversation because I think it really does it fills kind of a standalone spot uh, when you're looking at this particular device in its entirety. And I'm going to explain to you why I'm saying this as we go along through this review video. So let's just break down the basic components of this uh, of this Dynavap M7 to begin with. So of course, um, let's start right at the top and I'll tell you what I've noticed about this device so far. Let's start right at the very cap. Okay, what I've noticed about the cap is it, I feel like it's calibrated to click at a little bit hotter than I'm used to. So you're not, I don't really feel the need to overheat this cap at all. Okay, <laughs> like uh, maybe a second or so and that's it. Like it's really, it's calibrated to where I want it for nice, thick, robust uh, vapor. So then we get in here and we're looking at a completely different tip on this M than we've seen before on this device. And the top of it is almost reminiscent of the um, of the Helix tip, right? But this, of course, is a stainless steel vaporizer. But there's a lot more metal mass here, which is really changing the game with this vaporizer. This is a really huge part of it. It's not the only advancement, though. And of course, this uh, has a half bowl setting which I'll show you uh, exactly what to do in just a minute for the half bowl setting. So then you go into this really cool looking stem with, check out that cutout for the airport, right? So what that does is that really lends itself to two things. You can rock the device, right, like this, to uh, undulate the airflow or you can uh, partially cover the air hole to get the exact right draw you want, which is super cool. It's really comfortable, easy uh, airflow or airport to use. And then you get down here and you have the mouthpiece, which is a very comfortable mouthpiece. Okay, and then inside here, you have, this is your condenser system. Okay, and this, there's no O-rings there. That's just a pressure fit. You've got some relief cuts down here on the bottom that allow this to, when you put it in, it actually, there's different uh, spots in here where it will click. The further in you push the condenser into the mouthpiece, the more restricted the airflow will be when you're leaving the airport wide open. It's not a massive adjustment, but it does make a difference. So I personally like to set mine down in a place where it's gonna be uh, a little more restricted because I'm using it on the bong most of the time. Uh, of course, so we'll take the tip out and you can look at the tip on its own as well. And you can see it's just a dual O-ring in that bottom of this taper but this there's a lot more metal in here okay so let's talk about half bowl so what you're going to do is you're going to pull your mouthpiece off like this and you're going to put it in like that okay and then your condenser goes in the bottom and you're just going to hold it like this and then you just push up until you feel the click. And now you're in the half bowl location. So that will mean you would load 0.05 of a gram in. I've used the half bowl position. And uh, if you're looking for like a one and done rip, it's definitely a good setting. Definitely a good setting. So then to push it back into the full bowl setting you just use the end of the mouthpiece and you just 
you know, gently push it down until you feel it click into place. I put the condenser under the CCD just to support it as I push it down. Very, very simple though. Uh, which this is very much like the Helix, right? And that's what I'm noticing about this and what the advancements are here is you're really getting a much more advanced Dynavap experience overall. Uh, you know, going to this XL model. It's not a huge upgrade in price. But look at all the things that come with it. This is more than just an upgraded tip. This is the whole condenser mouthpiece. Everything is upgraded to a much higher uh, user standpoint, in my opinion. So let's go ahead. Oh, I'll point out as well. There's this sort of scalloped edge on the... Uh, on the tip itself, which is good if you want to just go into a full uh, bud and just, you know, give a little twist and push into it and just pop a piece of full nug into the, the chamber to fill the chamber instead of putting ground herb in there because of course you get a different flavor if you do that. That, that scalloped edge is really great for doing that. Uh, so that's also, you know, a small thing that's a well thought out thing, because if that's, you know, if that's how you like to enjoy your dry herb, what a what an advancement that is. So, of course, you can heat this with an induction heater or with a torch. I'm personally uh, preferring a torch with this based on the metal mass the amount of metal there is I, I like to heat it up with the torch it just seems to get a bit more heat uh into the tip and i'm getting more draws and and i'm heating it less so the initial heat up when it's cold takes a little bit longer but then your reheats are really quick and you're getting lots and lots of draws per heat cycle. So I'll just show you what I mean. And I'm just gonna use, you know, this is not a big flame at all. It's not anything bigger than you can get with like an honest torch or something. It's just a bigger looking torch because it holds lots of, uh, lots of fluid in it. So I'm just heating this right at the very bottom of the cap and turning it back and forth, but I'm heating it on the, the cap, not on the tip just heating the bottom of the cap while rotating it back and forth until it clicks. And once it clicks, I'm gonna just stop heating it there. And you'll see, I can get some really nice draws right away um, without, uh, without doing a, a cooling and a heating cycle. There's our click there. You can see it's a really easy, nice experience. Right, and that's the first heat up cycle from cold with this. So I'll just go ahead and uh, reset the cap. <coughs> and I'm gonna heat it again in the same spot, down at the bottom, and just rotate it back and forth. This has a really uh, interesting flavor. You can see, like I said, fast reheats, right? Didn't take long to get that back to temperature. And look at the thick vapor. I'll show you running it through this uh, tabletop orb in the new cloud color that's coming out this April. We'll cloud it up. We'll cloud the cloud. <coughs> so you can see for 0.1 of a 
gram. That's a, a lot of thick vapor and an awful lot of draws off of one load. And that's uh, simply because, number one, it's very smooth using this upgraded stem and condenser system um, from a traditional Dynavap M. <coughs> yeah, and that tip, it's really, that's the most, definitely the most advanced M tip to date. As far as, I feel like each each new version of the M sort of has its claim to fame. And what I see with this XL is this thing is a huge leap forward in what is being offered in the category of a Dynavap M. This is such an upgrade right from the tip down to the mouthpiece and everything in between is also feels like a total upgraded experience. Now, let's talk about bongability. As you can tell with the robust <laughs> vapor that's coming off of this thing, uh, you can well imagine what the bongability is like. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll just demonstrate that in this tabletop bong orb in the cloud color. And this is a composite product. It's not actually wood. What you're seeing, the white is not wood. That's a composite. Uh, we're trying something new with this product. All right, and I'm gonna just block off the airport to pull all the heat through the tip since we're running it through a bomb. It's a lot of vapor on the first heat up. <coughs> and it would have uh, continued to give vapor if I had have continued to draw on it. It was not uh, slowing down on vapor production at that point. <coughs> it was my lung capacity, actually, that was a limitation that time. <coughs> I'm vaping strawberry cough, and I really should have rethought that before I started the video since it gives me that cough feeling in the back of the throat. That's not really what I should be doing in a video. It didn't occur to me. I just uh, thought, what strain do I feel like that's really yummy? And I like this strain a lot, but it does, it gives you that slap in the back of the throat. <coughs> Cheers. I should have really thought that through better. <coughs> so at the end of it all, <coughs> the Dynavap M7XL, in my opinion, is an absolutely, absolutely awesome new device. And it is <coughs> so luxurious for where it fits in to the Dynavap lineup. Like this is really, this is really advancing what what's available at, at that price point, right? Like at, a, at the entry level in the M, I know it's an upgrade for the XL condenser, but it really, in my opinion, makes this thing really next level for a Dynavap M. And <coughs> let's let's be honest as well. What a great idea, making the condenser and mouthpiece available um, as a standalone product so you can go back and you can retrofit this condenser and mouthpiece system into M's of the past. That to me is a wicked great idea because <coughs> what it does is it really, it just takes any M you have and it brings it up a level, right? And it's a small, small investment to bring your M up 
you know, to upgrade it. So <coughs> I can definitely see that I will be ordering a couple of those for a couple of the Dynabap M's of the past that I still favor. And I'll definitely upgrade them. I'm super excited about that. I thought, wow, what a great idea, right? Not only does it really bring this Dynabap M7 to the very next level, it allows you to take the ones of the past and do the same thing. Thought that was brilliant, really and truly. <coughs> so uh, the M7 XL, honestly, I can't say enough good about it for for what you get for it uh yeah i can't say enough good about it really really impressed with how they just set the bar at a whole new level for themselves and and i can understand you know from my own perspective that's something that you you want to be careful of because you have to you have to be able to maintain that level and this is a big step so uh Yay. <laughs> All right, my friends, that's my honest opinion of the M7 XL. I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, take care.